Hi, welcome to all about mechanical engineering. In today's video, we will understand the second process that is application of first law of thermodynamics to a non-flow system undergoing a constant pressure process. Now, this is the second video on application of first law of thermodynamics to a non-flow system undergoing a process. In the previous video, we have studied the constant volume process. Today, we are going to study the constant pressure process. Now, the definition of constant pressure process. The process which is carried in such a way that the pressure of the system remains constant throughout the process is called as constant pressure process or also called as isobaric process. So this is the diagrammatic representation of the process. This is the PV chart and this is the TS chart. Now here we have a cylinder with certain quantity of gas inside it and there is a piston which is movable freely movable in upward or downward direction so this is the piston which can slide so here suppose you are carrying the heating process you are heating the gas by supplying q amount of heat to the system because of supply of heat there will be certain change in pressure and temperature of the system that is the gas now the pressure exerted by this piston before this heating is the self weight of the piston plus the atmospheric pressure acting on this piston and the piston is stationary because the external pressure on the piston is balanced by the internal pressure of the gas onto the piston the moment you start heating the pressure and temperature starts increasing but as the piston is movable it is going to shift its position to a higher value and will maintain equilibrium between the inside pressure and outside pressure let us consider by supplying q amount of heat the gas is having increased pressure and due to which the piston moves in upward direction during the completion of this process it is having a final position at this place so this is our final position of the piston so this is our initial state 1 and this is the final state 2 the same is represented on PV and TS diagram here as we can see as the piston is moving in upward direction the pressure is remaining constant but the volume is increasing initially this was the volume and now this is the complete volume so there is an increase in volume and that's why on a PV chart we have initial state 1 here having a value of pressure P and it is remaining same throughout the process up to 2 but the volume is having a lower value at 1 and a higher value at 2 means the volume is increasing Similarly, this process representing on a TS diagram, this is initial state T1 having lower value than T2 as compared to here. So here you have a lower temperature and entropy, here you have higher temperature and entropy due to the addition of heat. So this was all about the diagrammatic representation. Here it should be mentioned as P equals to constant. Now, Applying first law of thermodynamics to this, application of first law says that whenever a closed stationary system undergoes a thermodynamic process, then amount of heat supplied is equal to change in internal energy plus work done by the system. This is our equation number one. Now, work done by any closed system is having the same formula integration P D V. Applying our conditions, I can say integration one to two. P dv. Now, as we have mentioned, pressure is constant. I can take it outside the integration. We get P into integration 1 to 2 dv. Integrating this, we can say that P v from 1 to 2. Putting the limits, P into bracket v2 minus v1. So, this is the amount of work done in a constant pressure process now as discussed in our previous videos area under pv curve is nothing but work done so we have certain area here this is the area 
So this can be obtained, this formula can be obtained from this diagram as well because this is the area of a rectangle and applying the formula length into breadth, I have here volume V1, here volume V2. So from this value to this, this is V1 and from this to the last, it is V2. Let us say this is the value X. Let us find out X. What is X? It is nothing but V2 minus V1. So this is the length of the diagram and the height of the diagram is nothing but pressure P. So the P here we have P into bracket V2 minus V1 that is P into X that is V2 minus V1. The same formula is applicable here. Means area under PV curve is nothing but work done. So this is the work done. Now putting this value in this equation we get Q equals to u2 minus u1 plus p into bracket v2 minus v1 now multiplying p inside the bracket and simplifying it we can write q equals to u2 minus u1 plus pv2 minus pv1 from ideal gas equation or from enthalpy i can say that i am separating the terms u2 plus pv2 in one bracket minus is taken as common so in bracket you have u1 plus pv1 now what is this the term which i have separated is nothing but called as enthalpy so this is the value h2 enthalpy at state 2 minus enthalpy at state 1 now this is for 1 kg of gas Suppose we are having m kgs of gas, then this is the specific enthalpy by multiplying m into it, we get h2 that is total enthalpy minus h1 that is total enthalpy at initial state. So this is the value of q. Now what is the formula for calculating enthalpy? It is nothing but given by m into cp into bracket t2 minus T1. So this is the formula to calculate heat supplied during a constant pressure process. So we have calculated W, we have delta U and we have Q. Delta U is having the same formula. Delta U is given by M C V T2 minus T1. So these are the three things which we have calculated for a constant pressure process. As we have discussed in the previous video as well, the area under TS diagram is nothing but heat. So we have a desired area here, a certain area. So there should be a value of Q, non-zero. So here the value will be non-zero because M is a positive number. Specific heat at constant pressure that is called as Cp is always positive for any gas. And T2 is the final temperature which is more and T1 is initial temperature which is less. So this difference is also positive. So the value of Q will be positive. So in this case, we have certain value of W which is non-zero. We have certain value of Q which is also non-zero and delta U which is also non-zero. So we have a positive number and that's why there is an area on PV and TS diagram as well. So this was all about constant pressure process. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe our channel and stay connected with us. Thank you for watching this video.